It's our baby boy. <clears throat> and uh, we don't do this very often, so I know Abe gave you some nice music last night, so this is going not going to be anything like that. Uh, I was sitting there thinking, I used to, I used to read a lot of Westerns. Any, any of you fellows like Westerns, or you probably like to watch Westerns, right? Anybody? Any of, any of you live in the Westerns? No. <laughs> <laughs> but I remember one, one time I was reading, because I, you know, Melanie knows how poor we were. We, 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 didn't, we weren't allowed to have TV in our house. Now, they had TV, and I used to go to their house and watch, uh, when the Christmas shows come on at Christmas time, I'd go there and watch TV shows. We, we were really poor. And, um, uh, we used to support that most of the time I didn't know what was going on because we couldn't even pay attention. <laughs> anyway, back to my story. So there was this guy that had, that had died, and, and this was back before they would have embalmed people, and they had him there in the casket, and they were having to, I guess at that time, they would have called it a wake. And somebody, a guy noticed that there was a bead of sweat on that man's hairline. And he said, wait a minute, dead men don't even sweat, right? And so I was thinking, you know, a dead person doesn't do anything. And the Bible talks about when we were dead in our trespasses and our sins. That's when Christ did something for us. He reached down and, and, and took us out of the miry clay. So what we're going to do, the first song we're going to do tonight is when he reached down his hand for me. i 
Sunday best. We sat on cues of solid oak, and I remember how our voices filled the air. Now Mama sounded like an angel on those high soprano notes of when the road was calling up yonder I'll be. Looking back now, then. Oh, no.